Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, perhaps good night to you all who are watching this video. I'm Veronica from Free Talk Foreign Languages Studio and today I'd like to talk to you about uh, yet another pretty common mistake that Russians make when they speak English. This is to do with some nouns, some words, which are uncountable. Now the difficulty is that in our language, in Russian, we may actually count them. We can count one, two, three, or so and so many of that. But in English, often it's uncountable, which means it can only be in the singular form. It can be only one, and you count them using pieces, measures, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to give you a list of the most common uncountables that Russians love putting into the plural form and use verbs like are with them, which you cannot do. Please don't. So, example starts with a very common word, advice. In English, it can be only one advice. Never say, he gave me a lot of advices. No, you can't say it. This does not exist in English language. So, a lot of advice. The next one is knowledge. Again, in Russian, we can have many of these, but in English it can only be not much knowledge, a lot of knowledge and so on. No plural form. The next one would be research. Absolutely the same situation. I understand that you want to say it how you say it in Russian, but you can't. And a few more include baggage or luggage depending on whether you're using more British or more American form, then there is information. So you can only have pieces of information, yeah? Uh, useful or not useful, doesn't matter, but no informations, please, no, no, no. And one of my personal favorites, it's an exception, the word news. See, you have S here, but it is singular. News can only be is, yeah, or whatever else. But in English, it's like it's one. Okay, so the news was terrible. The news will be lovely. So this is just a very brief list, of course, because I don't want to waste too much of your time. But you can continue this in the internet. There are plenty of lists of these words. Of course, no use of just drilling them into your memory, hundred of them. No. Take little by little, make your own examples with them. Think when you're going to use these words, in what situations, in what context. And then it'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy to remember all that just very, very quickly. Have fun. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye, guys.